So you want to get the Essential mod in Minecraft. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do exactly that. Now, Essential is a really, really cool mod that basically allows you to play single player worlds and invite your friends. As you can see here, you just kind of invite them like you normally would in a single player world. Now, there are limitations to this. You can't use mods, you can't use plugins, and things like that, and it is hosted on your own computer, meaning you need a decent computer in order to invite especially more than one friend into your world. So, keep that in mind. But still, it's really, really cool. Let's go ahead and get Essential installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below that will take you here. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on download, and then it will take you to the Essential download page. Scroll down here and find the fabric version for 1.20.1. Click on that and then Essential will begin downloading. While this is downloading, how to message from our company Simple Game Hosting. Now as I mentioned, Essential doesn't allow for mods or plugins or anything like that. Well, what if you want mods, mod packs, plugins? Well, that's where Simple Game Hosting comes in at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, plugins, mod packs, or any other customizations you want to your server. Your server can be public or private, and if you do just want a vanilla server with your friends, that is super easy to set up as well. And your single player world, you can add that to your server at Simple Game Hosting, meaning you can enjoy that with your friends as well, even with mods and things like that. And if you do have any issues along the way, we have live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, as you can see, we have now downloaded Essential. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. The one more thing we need to download, of course, is the Fabric Mod Loader itself. We downloaded the Fabric version of the Essential Mod, so we need to get the Fabric Mod Loader in order to install it. You can find this linked in the description down below, and this is our in-depth text guide on getting Fabric. Once you're here, though, go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, click the Download Universal Jar link here. It's just this little link under the button, and the Universal Jar will download you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. The reason we're using this universal jar, by the way, is because it means that in the future, you'll be able to install other Minecraft mods without any issues if we use the universal jar. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move Essential and Fabric to our desktop. These are going to be found in our downloads folder. We can just move them to the desktop, like I said, and we're actually going to be starting off with Fabric here. To do that, you want to right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I didn't have Java. Well, if you didn't have Java when you clicked on Open With, what you need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is in the description down below, and this goes over everything you need to know about getting it, troubleshooting, frequently asked questions, it's all covered here. And obviously this is for Minecraft mods, Essential is a Minecraft mod. You may also need to run the jar fix, and we have a complete guide on this. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java. So first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser and open up the Fabric installer. Again, right click on it, click open with, click Java, and click OK. Now, once this is open, you want to make sure that 1.20.1 is selected and then click install. The only reason this may not work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If that's the case, close out of both of those. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before, go play it, just open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then you're good to go. Nevertheless, click OK and it will close out of that. And we can close out of the fabric installer and delete it. Now, let's go ahead and get Essential installed. To do this, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to find the fabric profile. But don't play Minecraft with it yet. All you want to do is locate it. How do you locate it? Well, go up to installations at the top. Then you want to make sure that modded is checked. Once you've done that, you will have this fabric profile here. If you don't, no worries. Let's go ahead and create a new installation. I'm going to name this Simple Game Hosting because, again, that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and select release fabric loader 1.20.1. Right there it is. Then we can change our resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game later. Then once you've found your uh, installation, whether it's the one that you created or whether it was the one that's already there, click on the folder that appears. Now in here you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, that's okay. Go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title it Mods. M-O-D-S, mods, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open it up. Now drag and drop Essential from your desktop into your mods folder. There it is. And now we can go ahead and play Minecraft using either the fabric profile that we had or the one that we created. Doesn't matter which, and Essential will be installed. Once we reach the Minecraft main menu, I will see you there.
immediately we can see that Essential is installed. Not only do we have, uh, well, Essential on the top right, we've got Host World, Social Pictures, all the stuff that Essential adds. You can add accounts and switch them here, all of that stuff. Social is where you're going to be able to, once you've accepted the terms, to uh, add your friends. So as you can see, I have another account, Daily Videos. They've been added as a friend. And if you were to join into a single player world, you could invite them. But keep in mind that you do not have the ability to easily run mods, plugins, or anything like that. It can be difficult with essentials, but if you go ahead and escape and then click invite, you will be able to invite your friends, set your settings, all of that stuff, and then done. Now your friend can go in and accept that invite as long as they have Minecraft open with the essential mod and join your single player world. Last but not least, it is worth mentioning that again, you're going to need a decent computer, especially as you add more and more friends, but at the end of the day, you're now playing Minecraft with your friends using the essential mod. There's also some other cool stuff. You can easily manage different screenshots and stuff like that. All of your Minecraft screenshots will show up right in here. And you've also got different cosmetics and things that you can get for essentials. You can view all the different settings right here by clicking settings on the right hand side. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the essential mod. Check out Simple Game Hosting if you want to play mods, mod packs, plugins with your friends, and you don't have to worry about computer hardware or anything like that. We take care of everything for you at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.